everyone, Judy Barrett here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple roundy moundy arrangement in this ceramic container that I have. You could use a bubble bowl or a um, glass cube or a ceramic cube, but this kind of a shape is really good for a little roundy moundy arrangement. We're going to start with this baptisia foliage and we're just going to make a ring of foliage around the bottom of the container so that the baptisia foliage just rests on the edge of the container. And I'm going to put five pieces in here because in order to make a circle, you need five points. If you only put four in, you have a square. All right, so that's what I have on my foliage to start with. Then I'm going to take some hydrangea blossoms and I'm going to put them in very, very deep so that they help to form a grid that I can put my flowers through. So I like a nice fat hydrangea here and it might only take three. There. All right, now, in order to have this circle going on here, I need a minimum of five points. I might put six. And I'm gonna use this white gooseneck glue stripe for my placements. And I'm gonna do this all in one type of material so that you can see the pattern and you can see how this works. I really think I want six. I'm going to scooch that one over. Tuck this in. Okay, so I have a nice circle of flowers. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to put an, another layer on this on top of, above, and in between the last placements that I put in. And I'm just gonna use this hydrangea to hold it all up. You see how I'm lifting it up and I'm building up with this. So there's the, the second layer. Do you see how that started out here and it's lifting up? Now I'm gonna put three more in. To build up to the center. And then I might just put, you know what, I don't like that one. I might just put one more in the top then. And there's a nice little roundy moundy arrangement. If you look carefully at this from the top view, you can see how these built up and how there's a circle and then a circle and then a smaller circle with the one in the middle. I still don't like this piece. I'm going to take that off and tuck it in. Now, I could, you know, this is a very simple arrangement, just like it is, and it's lovely, but I could kind of jazz it up a little bit with some more flowers. So when you're adding more, you can just kind of tuck them in between the other placements. So I think I'll put a little bit of yarrow in there. And I try to 
uh, in this case, um, whatever I put on this side, I put on this side. This one will lift up a little, and then another one. Oops, these are hooked together. And then another one over here on the side. And then I think I'll take a few pieces of this false mallow and give it a little bit of, um, let me see here, a little bit of height and a little bit of airiness with the false mallow. And I'm going to go in the opposite direction that I went with the, the yarrow. to I could add more to this uh, maybe I'll add a few little pieces of lamb's ears to it just because I like this color ah, with the aqua container and I'll just pick another spot in between all the rest of them that I've left empty and I'll throw a few lamb's ears I put one on this side so I'm going to go over here and put one on this side and then I'll add those building up to the center again. And there you have it. A little roundy moundy arrangement with no foam and no mechanics at all. We just let the plant and the flowers and the foliage do all the work. Thank you. Thanks for watching.